Patricia, the world is still divided into two camps about what happened to you. There was the mm-hmm. one camp that says that the men became her lovers. Mm, yeah. What is your version about <laughs> Willie Wolf, Cujo? Uh, that he's just as bad as any of the rest of them, and this is a complete fantasy. It wasn't rape at first that then became a seduction and a romance? I think it's insulting to anyone who's ever been raped to suggest that 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 could turn into a seduction and a love affair afterward. It's outrageous. And it became part of the U.S. case against you? It became a part of the mythology of the SLA, it did, in fact, get used, and not just him, but, you know, that all of the members of the SLA were my best friends and that, you know, kids just like me and that, of course, I'd like them. It's really shocking the way the case was presented. I mean, no other, uh, no other people were prosecuted for that bank robbery except me. None of my kidnappers were charged or prosecuted. And, you know, that's another thing that America has just accepted. Like, that's normal. Patricia, how are we to understand the, the so-called missing year of your life? After Mel's sporting goods, after the shootout, the SLA members are killed, you could have left at any number of points. Well, I just think it's not true that I could have left at any point. I couldn't do anything at any point anymore. I couldn't even think thoughts for myself anymore because I had been so programmed that, you know, the FBI was looking for the SLA. I shouldn't even try to think about rescue because they would call in psychics to find me. And that's the kind of, of thing that I believed. 